Uh, a lot of really good sort of aerial tracing from Anthony on the cloud against Yoshi. Mm -hmm. Definitely some practice stuff, but they have to go up against Red Team, who's coming in hot from the loser's racket. Grand Finals here at Doubles on Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, get hype, y'all. This is the last double set of Full Bloom 2024, and I think we're in for a good one. Um, as we saw, the first set went it went up 2-0 for the blue team. Rob and Anthony isn't cool. Then two straight games from red team, and then a game five closeout. Oh my gosh, Anthony isn't cool. Already going for the throat there with the finishing touch. Doesn't quite hit it, though. Yeah, I was going to say, definitely trying to make a statement. Said that You thought that last game was a statement game? Hold yeah. on. <laughs> finishing touch is a wild option to go for right there. But that being said, it barely even all around. Ooh, and there's those snake backers. It was really great from uh, Rob because um, Yoshi was in a position to uh, edge guard Cloud on the other end, but Rob just throwing a grenade from across the screen to disrupt and then almost got the kill on the Fox and does get the kill on Yoshi there with the up tilt. So really great teamwork from uh, Rob there. Yeah, really good stuff. Love the presence of mine. Still holding out of that stock as well. Bit of a scramble here over on the right side. But somehow blue team held on to both stocks, found some good openings, Ooh. but red right. team <laughs> quickly it's responded. Even. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. All right, we got the two 1v1s. Uh, Yoshi eagerly running to the other side to assist in the Fox juggles. Um, so, honestly though, Yoshi with a bit of percent on, but the percent's building on with everyone else, so they will likely catch up soon, I'd say. Especially right there, look at the, I love Ooh, that, that was coast. tricky, right? yeah. The coast to coast too to punish that cross slash. Really good stuff from Comet. Big F smash from Comet too. Oh my gosh, the it's cloud getting hit by so much here. Okay, doesn't get the spike, gets the tech even. Comet making it happen right now. Yeah, look on. at this. Oh, but the F tilt, Rob again coming in with a timely save, and Anthony isn't cool, holding his own against the pressures of Fox and Yoshi, and staying alive at 156 is going to die. Well, actually, Rob's going to die here, and now wow. finally Anthony isn't cool dies. That was very hard to kind of get everyone's bearings and whatnot, but it did yes. end up being great for Red Team. Because even though Fox got hit <laughs> and Anthony hit a back air, Yoshi was still somehow fast enough to make something happen. Anthony also losing the stock and drove just getting all of these openings. Yeah, and something I really like right there we hadn't seen yet. It was just another one of those interactions, but Fox had both characters in the rapid jab and Yoshi was just chucking eggs yeah, at him. Yeah. Just building up the damage. I love it. Um, and so and something to keep an eye out for, we got a C4 under that left platform. We heard the there come out, but it did not trigger in time. Right. This time blows it up. Okay. Oof. It's actually a really big and Ooh, really this important is. pickup. Yes. Now see, this is an interesting 2v1. Right. This is one I would, this is one of the more even 2v1s Ooh. I've seen. What is going on? I'm so worried for <laughs> the people. There's two of them and I'm more worried. No, I, I am genuinely more worried for blue team than I am for uh, red team. Yoshi's pretty heavy, has such good air mobility. Man, that certainly doesn't help. Anthony misses the ledge. Okay, hold on though. All right, yeah, let's let, let's see what Rob can. We saw in the previous set, Rob was quite comfortable in the one-on-one, -on -one, right, even right. when down in percent, and we're seeing that again right now. I think we joke even more comfortable, but we yeah, big maybe not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> comment with the shooting form. Yeah, well, Yoshi with the step back three right, right there to right. take him off the top. Really great <laughs> stuff. What brand are those shoes? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely wearing the Jordans right now. <laughs> I didn't know they came in dinosaur sizes. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a funny kill screen. Right. It's sick, but it's also really funny. Um, wow. Great stuff to Red Team. Stuffing out the momentum when it looked like Rob was maybe going to come out. Yeah, let's get that replay. <laughs> Excellent form. All green, perfect swish right there. Yep. That's going on the highlight reel. I love the juxtaposition, too. <laughs> <laughs> Comet, just with a wonderful follow through, and then you have Anthony just head in hand. <laughs> like. Picture says a thousand words right, right there, right? right. Um, but yeah, a, a close game one that is going to go to the benefit of Red Team. Uh, starting out strong, and no, so of course, notably, just like all of these brackets, this is a double elimination. Mm -hmm. uh, Red Team, Drow and Comet will have to take two sets right. from the blue team if they want to win. Um, and it just makes things that much harder. Uh, so we'll just have to see. We'll see if you know, you mentioned it earlier, AG, that uh, Red Team was a little bit warmer, and I feel like that kind of came out in that last game a little definitely, bit. Their, their synergy, their conversions were really on point, so let's see if Blue Team will catch up here, which I'm pretty confident yeah. they will. Also, just as players and their team composition, I think that warmness helps a lot. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Like, specifically with this team comp, I, it's, it's pretty critical.
Oh, all right. We're going back Kalos. to Kalos, which we've seen a lot of today. Like, more than I would have thought, but... I agree, yeah. And uh, the, I think one of those FD portions doesn't want the platforms to make things go too crazy, so... Right, right. I think also it'll make it a little bit easier to uh, go for, like, the two 1v1s. Yeah. Which I think blue team is favoring a little bit more, because red team's been more of the, like, building the damage with both players. Now we've got those two 1v1s. Um, Dro using that Yoshi air mobility to take turns between helping Fox and attacking Snake. Right. Um, and everyone is at pretty much the same percent right now. Yeah, I think you can kind of tell too when the one, the two one v ones work out in a way where you have Anthony going up against Dro. Dro's like, actually, I don't want to play Cloud Yoshi. <laughs> I would love to go back to the two v two, you know. So it's pretty Absolutely. interesting how Red Team has been working around Blue Team's strategy of trying to force those one v ones. Yeah, it's, it is absolutely interesting. It's cool adaptation. Um, and for the first time in a little bit, we see Comet losing the first stock as opposed to being the last person to lose his stock. Um, this is one of the more even starts that we've seen. Yoshi holding strong with this first stock right now at 161. Yeah. And the egg lay, which is mostly just a recovery, but it interrupted the cross slash, which yeah. is huge. I mean, that's, I mean, that's the other thing. Yoshi's got that projectile game to disrupt the same right. as Snake does. I mean, obviously less projectiles, but that, that egg is pretty pretty brutal sometimes. Yeah, it's got its upsides, for sure. Okay, good damage here for Red Team. Actually, not making it back to the ledge, but... Oh, another Snake backer. Okay, a big scramble, and what a swing, oh, but the wrong, wrong swing, yeah. Uh, hate to see it, but they're not letting it phase him at all. Going right back to it. Yeah, right right to it. And, you know, you've got it. You can't, especially with a, such a fast-paced team comp as this, you can't take a second to, like, second-guess yourself. You just got to keep going, which they are doing. Um, and building up this damage fast on the blue team. Yeah. Oh, wow. Saves the limit, which is huge. The blade beam off the ledge is oh a really gosh. good option. Yeah, it gets that extra damage. Down smash does kill... Uh, Fox on at 51%, Snake still on the second stock at 164. It's gonna be, it is it is scary now for Red Team. Uh, with how high their percentage and, oh my gosh, yeah, like if that up tilt hit Fox, I think Fox right. is gone. Right, and now these back ears too are priming to take the stock as well. How many are we gonna <laughs> see? That was back to back to back. I just said Even one more for Compass. <laughs> <laughs> Even Rob's not safe. Yeah, unfortunate team kill there, but uh, Anthony isn't cool, makes it up by immediately killing Comet on the uh, platform right there with the up smash. Uh, Dro has done such a good job as a stock tank this game, and now is going to be the test, and uh, unfortunately, Anthony isn't cool, had no interest in seeing how that was going to play out. Just right. goes right for the dash attack, and now we got a 2v1. Okay, this is pretty interesting though, but like, Snake does have a lot of tools in general, but in this situation in particular, if Fox can catch Cloud, Snake is not exactly fast enough to really answer or help out. So. I totally agree. Like, at best, you're going to be throwing grenades from the other side like right. we saw earlier, but that's less threatening with less going on. Oh, down throw was so yeah. smart. Yeah, the armor. Right. Super Comet sick. Has, like, so many of these ideas scouted out. You're going to have to side special, unfortunately. Ooh. But picture perfect edge guarding. Wow, look at that. Comet had the ideas to come through, but like you were saying, but yeah, that those quick conversions at the end were too good. Right, right. All this was really good. That's The back air just stays up for so long. Oh my gosh, yeah, that move is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what it loses to. Like, look at that. It oh, look at that. <laughs> that was like his, his hip hitbox. Yeah, yeah. And Fox, of course, had nothing Nothing oh, you can do about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was that a two frame? Oh, it was, yeah. That's, yeah. that's crazy. Look okay. at that, wow. That's how good that move is, yeah. So he got two framed by the lingering back air. And you know, the thing that surprised me a little bit more was that all the hits of down are connected. Right, I was, right. from that height with the jump, I was expecting Fox to fall out of one of them, but nah, gets sent to the side and Anthony isn't cool. The situation we've seen so many times with Snake at the front and Anthony isn't cool covering roll distance. Right, right. Uh, you've mentioned it many times. We saw it again there. And then he just came right in for the cross slash. So really good stuff. Too, because that sets up for Anthony to then jump over and off to go yeah, for the edge guard. Which we saw in the first set. Right, right. Uh, really good stuff. We're seeing all of the plans come to fruition here in Grand Finals. And we're going to the next game on Final Destination. All right, yeah, they wanted even less platforms than last time. We're going full flat stage. Red team is going to want to juggle. Ooh, okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. Some big damage already. 
one to two players get caught in the rapid jab, I know it's not good. It like, is. Yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, good response though. I love that reflect. It does kind of, unfortunately, catch Dro in the crossfire, but. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Gets the F smash. So Dro looking good. Everyone else looking a little unhealthy. That's one of the few times I've seen them mess up the forward throw into Yoshi up smash, and it's funny because they had more time than they usually yeah. do. <laughs> They're, you know, they're not the uh, study type. They're the cram type, you know? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> less time, the better. So. It, yeah, they they thrive in the 11th hour. Right. right. <laughs> um, Ooh, okay. Big but, scramble here. Dro yeah. holding on to the stock right now. We're seeing sort of similar to game one with Dro sort of hanging on, stock tanking a little bit. We saw it a bit last game as well. Um, until, uh, well, until we didn't. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the moment you said it, it stopped happening, but. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, Ooh, okay. uh, such is life. But right, yeah, right. red team, the stage is definitely going to the advantage. I feel like they've pretty continually held the blue team at a pretty bad position. Um, but that up tilt is going to even the stock count right up. That was so smart, too. You can see Anthony kind of... Oh, no. Brutal, yeah. Rough team kill there. Right. That was an early one, too. Three stocks to four right now. Red team favored. Yoshi up air, too, to kind of just play Ooh, a defensive yeah. game. And then Box immediately ready for the juggles. Oof, this... Is the, the team comps are going well right now for the red team. Right. And all of the defensive timing is just so perfectly timed as well for red team, right? We saw a throw out a hitbox from Dro into a grab, into these combo extensions too. Anthony, though, tagging on a lot of damage with the up airs and evens it up almost. Oh, good avoidance of the second back air because I thought after that first back air that... Uh, Combo was just done, and just like that, see, uh, yeah, Anthony's no, like, just I've like that, yeah. had enough. <laughs> on to the next one. Not gonna worry about that one. You know, don't worry about any information that the other team may glean. Just we'll yeah, get next time. I, I think you know it was a combination of some really timely kills and team, you know, team synergy there, and combined with that final destination stage, which clearly did so well there. Yeah. Um, Really great stuff from the red team to go up 2-1 in this grand finals set one. Mm -hmm. And we're going we're going back to Kalos, okay. Oh yeah, because I guess no DSR, so that is that is chill. Sweet. I like the pick. It worked out very well for red team. It did. We saw some really good routes that were unlocked for Comet because of the wall, of course. Mm -hmm. We saw some pretty uh, interesting dynamics uh, just with that platform that's yeah. kind of over the ledge as well so we'll see how it works out here in this next game in grand finals this may be a reset maybe we're going to game five there's so many possibilities right now oh the possibilities are well they're not quite endless because i guess there's a set amount but Numerous. they feel endless yeah, yeah the fun is endless guys true true um and anthony isn't cool coming out swinging this game getting some big damage already but speaking of big damage rob already over 100 right unfortunately snake is uh not exactly excited to scrap in certain situations so ends up getting hit by a lot of incidental damage mm -hmm. yeah kind of seeing that right now already some cross slash damage tack on Ooh. big swing from dro finds the mark and an early lead for red team yeah great start for red team getting the stock off snake pretty early um and neither of them looking too too bad right now uh, Anthony isn't cool going for that forward air there. A little bit riskier, but makes it back just fine and great tech option. So honestly, Ooh. just completely chilling right now. Yeah, it doesn't take the stock from Comet, but does kind of add some damage oh, on. That's so unfortunate. The classic. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was that was some silly stuff. We saw we saw Comet try and go and disrupt stake and get hit by the back hit of up, up tilt, and then we saw some tomfoolery with the <laughs> the egg lay. Tomfoolery is the best way to describe it. Yeah. Possibly the only way to describe it, but they're going back to it here. Four stocks apiece, and it turns into an even game after what felt like a pretty solid start for red team, but blue team had a really nice response as well. Yeah, it's looking good. Um, pretty pretty even right now. Anthony isn't cool doing a really good job avoiding taking damage. Um, right, right. Just spacing well, getting these backers in, just sort of hanging out around center and like using the range to be in two places at once in a way. Um, now we've got those two 1v1s and Nikita will clean up Fox's stock as Anthony isn't cool distracted the Yoshi. Um, what is, 
what is going on? Yeah. The <laughs> limit cross slash into the climb hazard. Into, you know. <laughs> not really getting punished, but I understand it's terrified of trying to punish Cloud in general. Just Yeah, just generally trying to punish Cloud is scary, especially when you're at kill percent already. Ooh, okay, good nice. neutral here. That might be, yeah, that'll do it That second sure. one will certainly do it. And Snake dies too, wow. So blue team was looking pretty solid, but now is off to a deficit and is uh, just a couple stocks away from getting the bracket reset on them. But right. Anthony and Rob, I think, will have something to say about that. <laughs> they oh my definitely God. have something to say. That was <laughs> crazy, but really good stuff from you know both red team players kind of mixing up their aggression as well, which is very smart. That being said, blue team wrestles back the stage, though. They look pretty comfortable. Look like they're trying to line up some kills, possibly. Onto Kame right now, who's at a pretty precarious percent. But. Yeah, definitely Snake and, uh, well, actually, now Cloud has eclipsed Snake in percent, mm -hmm. so both blue team members looking a little bit bruised right now, but uh, the red team is catching up as well. Oh, the back air just misses. A risky grab on the platform from Comet, but it pays off. The forward and throw is so smart yet again. Comet yeah, always picking the right one. The throw armor has been beautiful. Gets that soft dash attack into back air. Classic Fox confirm and the down smash. We'll see you in set two. Unbelievable series of options from Comet and good stuff from Dro to kind of keep that pressure up to make all of those situations just a little extra tense for blue team. Yes. But yet, like you said, that's our spot and into the back air. Sour spot dash tag into the back air. Lovely. The down smash, great coverage. Pitches the regular get up, the grab. I'm oh, sorry, the re grab. Mm -hmm. We got the, even the jump from ledge. There's a window where Cloud just kind of gets hit by that back hit of the down smash. So great stuff all around. Yeah, really good everybody. stuff. And we're going right into this next set. I think one thing I'm really impressed by the red team, which I think sort of goes with all of their gameplay, both the juggles and the rea uh, the uh, synergy, is their both of their reaction times seem really, really good. Right, right. right. Like, I mean, we saw it there with. Um, Comet just getting those two quick kills, just reacting in time, and I think that's part of how they're able to get this synergy, these uh, team combos so quickly. Right, right. Um, but yeah, on to PS2 to start off the true finals here. This is so unfortunate for Rob in particular. So much incidental damage, getting caught between two different rapid jabs twice. Oh gosh, yeah. Ends up at 94. This cross slash, though, really okay. good idea. <laughs> yeah, great idea. Just not. Uh, pretty, pretty close to killing. Oh my gosh. The forward air was wow. so smart. Red team, I was going to say blue team was looking, you know, maybe like they're kind of making the adjustments. Yeah, I was feeling the same way. But I don't think so anymore. Red team looks like they're just improvising and implementing too many new things too quickly. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, so I think that was a double spike on the red team and Rob got caught up in it and just sort of died? Yeah. <laughs> I could not put it more eloquently than that, yeah. so I think that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, that was wild. Uh, could have been a big momentum swing if it hadn't been for Rob also dying there. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, now it looks like a pretty big advantage to red team. Um, but we'll see. Anthony, Anthony isn't cool. Is putting the big swings out. Rob is trying to get some... Uh, projectile pressure going. Guess that Ooh. F tilt on Yoshi, so you know, it's uh it can add up in a hurry here. Definitely. Like we are seeing blue team go for some pretty big swings, some pretty solid combos as well. And right there, nice hot and cold gameplay from Anthony to mix it up. Hold on a second. Yoshi Ooh, the third backer. I respect that. Okay. okay, yeah, and we're pretty much exactly even in this game one. Okay, down to the wire, frankly, like we'll sub a percent at this point. Yeah, after that incredibly explosive start to the game where we had a couple quick kills from red team and then that double spike from the blue team, we are at even, completely even. We'll see who can get the uh, the better of things faster. I think stage control is going to be really key here because right. if you get in a situation like just like this where one uh, member is stuck on the edge while they're being the other teammates being comboed, uh, it can it can snowball fast, but. Thus far, oh. things have been interrupted in time. Okay, this is pretty big. Oh, saves the limit. Or no, actually does use the limit. Interesting. I thought I, he was going get, to get it saved because of the Firefox, but maybe went for an option as he was getting hit. Yeah, I think maybe going for a cross oh. slash or a neutral B. I, I couldn't tell what animation it was. I just saw the, the blue go away. Ooh, great DI from Yoshi. Fox is going to get side B'd, though. And Ooh. all right, we got the 1v1. 
All right, this is it's not quite yet. Very rough. Yeah, not going to get the true confirmed, but the grenade. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. 99. Dro is moving right now with a good amount of confidence here, despite that percent deficit. Yeah, and we got the nade at ledge, but uh, good timing from Dro to avoid getting hit immediately. And was that the C4 timer? What? Oh, wait, no, that wasn't even, that was no, just grenade, yeah. right? Right, right, yeah, 180. That's crazy. He still doesn't take it. Dodging that grab, getting the egg Ooh. lay, and going for something wild, not finding the mark, but still, I am so very worried for both competitors right yeah, now. Yeah, and I really like the option to go oh. to the ledge there because, you know, you're covering that option if uh, Snake goes that way, but if not, you're safely at the ledge for now. Snake's going to be in the other direction. You've got time. This is tense. Yeah. I do not think we see a C4 on the screen right now, so... Honestly, pretty wise. Don't want to lose track of it in one of these That's situations. So ambitious. The space back air, some good shield damage, dash attack, the sour the spot. Soft spot. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's crazy because they're both at kill percent, but uh, Rob is up 80%. Right, right. Egg Throw also has been the all star for sure. Okay, another one is not going to do it. Catching these landings with dash attack over and over again. Eventually, Rob is going to That's get the it. strong hit. That, yeah. Oh my goodness. Put I him to a, sleep. I need a second to breathe. Woo! Like, that Woo! was way more closer than it should have been. But blue team does manage to make it happen. And I was singing the praises of red team that game. I think red team had a lot of momentum to, you know, start the game off. The first minute or so as well was like red team favored, but blue team slowed it down, made it happen, and found some pretty pivotal stocks, yeah, I would say. Absolutely. I, I can't believe, I mean, that was just game one, right? I can't yeah. believe that was just game one. That was crazy. So much stuff happened. Um, but that's, I mean, that's just kind of how these two teams have played. I mean, like, I, we could be well on our way to a game 15. <laughs> yeah, I would not be surprised. Um, just the adjustments back and forth and it you know it honestly each game has come down to like a couple interactions as we've said throughout right, um right. so we'll see who can keep it the cleanest and get the most of it here as we go into this game number two and the reset sticking with ps2 um nothing you know no problem with that makes sense going straight into 1v1s this time and we've got the multi hits <laughs> I was going to say the platform height is a little bit more advantageous for Red Team in terms of those combos and those follow-ups. We saw exactly why right there. Big damage already. Once again on Rob, who, you know, kind of the cost of doing business. Rob spawns in, takes 90, and then gets to play. Like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's a nice little way of putting it. This happened a few times in a row. Um, and you know what? To Rob's credit, not, getting, not flinching at the damage that they're taking, right, just right. getting right into it and getting down to business. Uh, <laughs> tries to get that back air again on the Fox side B. Okay, forward throw is probably it here. Yeah, the hitbox is way bigger than you think it is. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate for the blue team. Okay. Hey, interesting with the up air there. Um, wow, what a pickup off the dash attack. Yeah, crazy, crazy stuff from the red team there, getting the stock off of Rob pretty early, <laughs> and uh, now a stock off of Cloud. Wow, the throw combos and just the confidence to go for these follow-ups. Really working wonders for red team, an unfortunate Ooh, SD. Bad SD, yeah, it's it's getting ugly fast. This Rob already on his last stock. I think this is probably one of the ones that we think about in the next game, but as I say that, you know, blue team has made some wild comebacks. They certainly have. I mean, you get a, you get a stock off of Comet here without either taking too much damage. It's only one a one stock differential, which right, right. we've seen both teams come back from over the course of this tournament, I'm pretty sure, so. Um, yeah, it's, it's, we'll see. Ooh. I mean, that's going to put you in a pretty good position. And getting that on the Yoshi early with right. Comet still not looking too healthy. Ooh, a risky-ish dash attack, though. Comet was just waiting for someone to swing on him. Okay, now we got a pretty even game here. Just a clean stock, but it all depends on the momentum. If we can get a Ooh quick one. Oh, my God, there's a quick one. Now, Anthony. The share stock forces the last stock, one across Ooh. the board, and, you know, Rob at 80, but that's just another day in the office. That, yeah, as you were saying, that's just par for the course. This is when he gets to play. Ooh. Oh, my gosh, the down smash just missing. It was a risky high air dodge. And wow. nice dash tag to disrupt the combo there. Yo. Oh, my God, what a pickup, but lives. 70, though, not going to find the down air right there. Good stuff from red team. Big Ooh. scramble, red team favored, but oh, Anthony's putting something together. I'm still worried. 
Yeah. We, I don't know what's going on. I don't know either. It was unfortunate because I think the climb hazard hit like under the ledge, uh, poked Snake enough to get hit by the down smash. So now, I mean, like it's certainly not over. No, it is. Actually, it is certainly yeah. over. Cross, it is certainly yeah. over. <laughs> Cross slash, not exactly a move you can go for in that situation. We've said it so many times before. Please forgive me if I say it one more time. Fox is way <laughs> too fast for you to get away with it. You yeah. Know? That move has enough cooldown. I can assume that maybe you're hoping to kind of catch Fox in that last hitbox as it lingers from hitting the Yoshi a little bit more. But Comet knows. Comet has it all planned out and punished accordingly. Yeah, really great stuff to end that game from the red team. Um, and we are continuing to go back and forth. We are at 1-1 one, one, um, and back on PS2. It's a scrapper. Ooh, okay. The dash back from blue team, very Ooh. smart. Big change of pace from the last 10 games we've seen. Yeah, the mind games start at the jump. I love it. Okay, unfortunately, though, we got Rob still in the thick of things, though. This time not taking 80 damage, which is huge. That is certainly huge. Uh, yeah, honestly, this is the first time in a while Rob hasn't spawned in with that percent, like you were saying. So we'll see what he can do with it. Yeah, Rob, uh, like, Rob didn't even know that the percent started white. Yeah, he's like, saying, this is new what? information. <laughs> Ooh, uh, oh, oh, tries to go for some shenanigans that work. Okay. Yeah. Very good shenanigans. Shenanigans <laughs> were had for sure. And uh, Anthony's and Cool, unfortunately, falling into the Yoshi F smash, but it's it's quite even to start this game. Definitely not what I would have thought. Like, first, I thought that, you know, Rob was just going to get that snake down here on Comet's recovery. That didn't happen. And then all of a sudden, somehow, still Comet doesn't make it back. Rob makes it back. And now we have a very big change of pace in terms of who the stock tanks are this game. Yeah, and I'm noticing, I feel like we're seeing a lot more grenade this game. Yeah. Uh, I feel like rarely before we were seeing two grenades out for Snake. Now we're seeing like one near him, one being thrown. It's, I like the mix up. I mean, you've got all these, uh, all these projectiles and mixing them up against two characters that don't have a, you know, Fox with the reflect is great, but against Snake, reflect is really not that good. Frankly, he was probably planning on hitting himself anyway. <laughs> exactly. Big down air there, gonna set up for that back air when, extension, but good stuff wow. from Dro. Dro finally punishes Rob for just chilling in that corner, putting in work. Uh, with that being said, blue team up a solid stock right now. Okay, okay I like that, back throw into up B. Really good damage right there. Trying to trace Yoshi to keep that going, and wow, what a follow-up too. Yeah, we're, we're starting to see some of the synergy that we usually see from red team, from blue team right now. Hold the oh, shine. what a shine! <laughs> he makes it back, though! Yeah, it does force the limit, which is very important. Cer yeah, certainly. Certainly still a super key thing. Okay, okay, oh. everyone's dying, stocks are flying, and we're in a last stock situation. Yeah, this is uh, near impossible as well. We've seen so many pretty much airtight defenses from blue team. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw one right now. Once they are able to get some footing, it could be very difficult for Comet to make anything happen. But that being said, they haven't found that footing yet. Wow, yeah, they really... Uh, you're so gone. Well, he found some footing. <laughs> uh, he found some footing for sure, AG. That is that is certain. Uh, really clean end of that game. How many times have we seen the blue team sort of horizontally ladder Fox into the right, blast zone, right. you I know? Mean, that's the thing. Like we talked about, Fox can be a little deceptive. Mm -hmm. But... You can't trick two people. Yeah, it's like playing rock paper scissors, but taking turns. You know, <laughs> it, for sure, it's it's tough. And we saw right there, like you know, you throw out the down air. Oh, the down air didn't hit. Well, I can actually make it back to the ledge. And I can throw out a back air. Oh, okay, you went high. Well, guess what? Anthony is waiting. You know, <laughs> rubbing rubbing the hands together. Like, please come to the stage. <laughs> oh man, it's and very tough. There we go into this game four on PS2. This could be it if blue team's able to co close it out or are we going to see our third straight game five from these two teams i'm excited either way fox spawning in at 40 <laughs> because of a cross slash and a grenade right that has kind of just been the story of the set both teams come out swinging and it works out for one of them almost yeah. every time absolutely it, it is cool to see like these starting position variations right, between right. games and like the little mind games, like almost chess, chess opening type situation. Um, super cool stuff. And after that initial damage, Anthony isn't cool is actually taking a good bit of damage. Usually it's uh, 
I mean, as we we're saying, it's usually Rob, but uh, Anthony's a cool this time taking it and getting sent off the top. Oh, wow. And actually, after that whole Firefox trade Ooh. and some extra Yoshi hits, Ooh. that almost could have been it, but really good route from Rob. Dro still keeping that pressure up, though. Yeah, really great offstage pressure from Dro. Kind of miraculous to do the low recovery as Snake and still make it back, but right. I mean, you can't be complaining. And unfortunately, that backer is only going to kill Fox, leaving Snake alive. Um, wow, makes it back, too. Yoshi with no jump, still making it back from the blast zone. They're scrambling right now over on the right side. Yeah, look at this. Yoshi holding the grenade. Now we're seeing some projectile setups. Oh my gosh, you die? Yeah, I definitely am not holding the right way after getting hit by all of that. That's, it's business. Like, like that's a. I mean, it's a quick time event. You right, know, right. it's like which way are you gonna go? Did you react fast enough? I don't know. Uh, yeah. So super explosive. Unfortunate early. A couple early stocks lost from Fox. Um, I will say though, Anthony isn't cool at almost a hundred. Well, literally ninety nine point nine percent. This could get evened up real quick. Okay, they're definitely looking for it. You see right there, like I mentioned, we got Yoshi jumping up, threatening the option, and then Fox is punishing after the air dodge. Very Ooh. smart stuff from Comet and Dro. But they are on the back foot right now, stuck on oh my the left side here. <laughs> this is stressful. We got the double nade coming smart. back on stage. I will never count anything out with these two teams. I think blue team's looking pretty poised right now, but anything can happen. We've seen some crazy quick changes in momentum, uh, but I mean, it, the likelihood of a red team win is slipping away. Anthony isn't cool, was at this high percent for so much of this game and has gotten kill after kill, and Rob with the snake pressure is just finishing the job. Right, and now we get to see that signature blue team defense. We saw it all bracket, and when it mattered most, they did not waver even a little bit. Not at all. Great composure from the blue team. Super, super fun, Grand. Super fun doubles top cut. But Anthony isn't cool, and Rob are your full Bloom 2024 Super Smash Bros. Ultimate doubles champions. Well earned. Uh, but I've got to give a massive shout out to Dro and Comet yes. for putting on quite the show. That is exactly the best way to put it. It was a show for sure. And it was really just the story of hot and cold, push and pull, the uh, immovable force, the unstoppable, oh, I'm sorry, the unstoppable force, the immovable object. Yep. But blue team really held it down. They slowed it down when it mattered the most. Oof. And the ledge pressure, the ledge trapping, and just the cooperation was so very fluid mm -hmm. and not a single misstep. But that is going to be it. They put on a show, as yep. you mentioned, and that is the end of the show for us here at Full Bloom 2024 for today. Yeah, this is just today. Remember, we've got we got singles top 48 tomorrow for Ultimate, singles top 64 for Melee tomorrow. We've got some incredible players, both games, incredible sets, incredible commentary. Uh, an absolute blast to uh, commentate that finals that great, with yeah. the boy AG, the lad. Um, and yeah, just make sure to follow AG oh, on Twitter, you, you. of course. Oh, follow please, myself as well please, if you please. while you're That's at it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, but yeah, no, definitely a fun time. Uh, shout outs to House of 3000 for the production. Course, it's been a blast to be a part of all day. Um, and if you are if you haven't been watching Full Bloom, you are missing out. This yes, has been yeah, a really yeah. cool event. Clear the schedule tomorrow. You do not want to miss it. The bracket's going to be a great time. <laughs> it's going to be a show just like today was, if not, well, you know, frankly better. Yeah. I think it's a good one. Don't worry about all that. Get some rest. We will be back tomorrow. Thank you all so much. I've been AG. And, and this is Prince, Prince Ali. Prince Ali. We'll be seeing you.